or uh, Clan Centurio, you'll see. <laughs> I kind of do like that opening scene and that uh, dinosaur monster that you saw run across the screen. You do not want to fight him. Okay. Enemies that have green health bars are not hostile. They will not attack you unless you attack them. Enemies that have red uh, bars will attack you on sight. I hate the treasure system in this game too, it's random. Much just fight monsters out here to get license points and XP. You'll want to get to at least level two uh, by the time you fight the rogue tomato. I know where he is too. Also, at this point in the game, try not to engage more than one monster uh, at a time because you'll take a beating since you only have one party member. Yeah, these are the only two kinds of enemies you'll see out here. And so you know, XP is split among all your party members. So if one party member falls behind, you may want to take him to an area with slightly weaker monsters. And, uh... And just... Because what you can do is you can actually determine what your party size is. You don't actually have to kill off other party members in order to, uh... in order to uh, accelerate XP growth. Yay, level up. I can actually use a potion right now. At least items in this game are instant use. Uh, they don't take any ATB to use. Unlike spells, which... I can't cast any spells yet. Alright, that should do. Let's go kill this rogue tomato. He's actually not that much stronger than uh, uh, the other enemies in the area. I think he's like level 3 or 4. And the enemies in the area are level... Uh, Two, I think. One, two, one, two. Occasionally the level three, except of course for the wild Saurian. He's level 27, so you want to stay away from him. I'm just going to do a little bit more cleaning up down here, I think. But yeah. He's not hostile. He's, he's not hostile, so he won't, uh, he won't attack you unless you attack him. And he eats some of the, uh, wolves around here for, uh, for, uh, power-ups. Every time he eats something, his level goes up by five, so now he's level 32. Even more of a reason to stay away from him. But it's kind of irritating when you're trying to gain a couple Galbana levels in this place. Never thought I'd see him growing out here. Ugh. This'll make a nice souvenir. Time to call it a day. Well, it never told me how many license points I got for defeating the uh, rogue tomato. I think it's like three. There are some regular enemies that give two, but... They're few and far between. But yeah, that's plenty. How many do I have anyway? 14, huh? One more enemy over here, huh? Let's make it 15 so we can get a license. 
Okay. And now that there's a bit of downtime in getting back, I'd like to explain how the chain system works. If you kill uh, enemies of the same type in a row, uh, your chain will increase. Every so often, when you kill enough enemies in a row, your chain level goes up. The higher your chain level goes from 1 to 4, uh, the better of a chance that you will have for enemies to drop items and uh, the increased chance that you'll get rare drops as well. However, grabbing treasures will... Uh, will it, if you grab a treasure, it will increase the amount of enemies that you have to kill to increase your chain level. If you don't grab any, uh, any uh, treasures, maxing out your chain level takes anywhere from 18 to 30 kills. That's blocked off. Is this east gate? That is the east gate. Can't go that way. Okay. Huh. I'm back there. Bang! This gate closed until the ceremony's over. Do you hear? <sighs> now what? Open the gate! All right, out the way. Wait a second. How come you let these chocobos through the gate and not us? What of it? This here's a pedigreed parader, boy. Cost tens of thousands of gil, this one did. A prettier price than a hundred of you provincials would fetch. <sighs> Keep your distance. We don't want the chocobo sticking a peasant. <laughs> What'd you say? Step aside! Uh. Right then, move them in. Oh. Uh, that does it. Ho ho ho! A fine, fine chocobo you have there. Yes, uh, see the down stock, if I'm not mistaken. Change the soil, change the chocobo, am I right? Yes, yes, different style means different bouquet, too. Take a Damascan Barrow's wine, eh? It may lack the flavor and depth of some of your Arcadian wines, but it has a certain strength of character. <laughs> it's not bad, really, once you get used to it. <laughs> Care for some, sirs? There's more than enough for all to cool their throats, of course. You let these carts through them and close this gate is ordered. My mail's choked with this sand. Then why did you build your town out in the middle of a desert? Don't give me a scare like that. <laughs> You're lucky that ended where it did. Right. Now's our chance to go through. Ah, the ceremony will be starting soon. I best be hurrying. Okay, well... <sighs> Bon, wait! What is it? 